Greetings, all you vintage fans. Heidi here, with another quick video about the fascinating world of retro clothing, vintage fashion, and burlesque. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, and click the bell to be notified of the next exciting upload. Like most decades, the 1950s have the signature shoe that defines the fashion of the foot. The 50s had the saddle shoe and introduced a few other styles to boot. The infamous saddle shoe was a staple in fashion, and it can be best described as the black and white, stiff, heavy piece of footwear seen in pictures of sock hops and dances from that time period. Men's dress shoes resemble the saddle shoe, typically with two tones, flat heels, and thin laces. The shoes had to be shined, not washed, if you wanted them to appear clean. Women, similar to modern times, had many more options and styles to choose from than the gents. Stilettos gained popularity and women chose them to accentuate their legs when they wore skirts and dresses. Businesses were less than thankful, since they had to protect their floors from the scuffs and scratches of the pointy shoes. More conservative shoes had thicker, shorter heels. Patent leather was a staple in a shoemaker's business, and black was the usual color of choice. Rounded toe flats and shoes with very short heels were worn by school girls because of their comfort and conservative appearance. Ballet flats and white socks were a popular style to wear with skirts on casual outings, and the socks have since been eliminated from the style. The shoes from the 1950s are still popular today, with the exception of the saddle shoe. The heels have been modified and expanded upon, but the basic style still has its roots in 50s footwear. Thanks for watching. If you found anything of interest in this video then please subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell. That way you'll be notified directly of any new videos. Please also give this video a like, and post a comment to tell me what you liked or disliked about this video. Finally, please share this video with friends and colleagues and in social media so that others may view it and comment. By subscribing, commenting, liking, and sharing these videos I'll know what I'm doing right and will continue to make videos that people want to watch.